Good morning, guys, and welcome to the Monday Morning Sidewalk. Here we go on Monday. It's October 20th. Do you know where your children are this morning? <laughs> Just kidding. It's been a long night. I've been working all nighters, working out on the shale, so uh, I might be a little delirious today. Let's get down to it, see what's going on across Texas and fly fishing in Texas. Right now, you know, I... Uh, I'm still seeing a lot of great things from the coast. This is that time of year, the fall, the fall push, so to speak, and uh, I'm getting a lot of photos from the coast. It's uh, still going on really well, and um, Katie barred the door on that. It's a great time to be on the coast. If uh, if you haven't subscribed to Texas Flycaster already, that's okay. Um, you'll be missing out on some great content, but. Uh, if you do subscribe, there's a Yeti giveaway that I'm doing. If you look on the left-hand column of the website, you'll see left-hand left-hand column of the website. You'll see more information about that giveaway. Uh, starting next week, uh, hopefully, if I'm not still working out on the shale, I'll be going to Broken Bow Beaver's Bend. I call it the Benbow because everybody uses those names interchangeably. So if you hear Benbow, that's basically Beaver's Bend in Oklahoma. So it's going to be one of those red-eye kind of deals. Perhaps I'll spend the night out there camping, but uh, doubtful. Go in and, and see what's going on in Oklahoma. That's next week, and that report should be out next week as well. If, you, uh, if you've been kind of following along, you know that I've been talking about the fact that we're going to get a little fall bump in the action here as fish feed before the winter kicks in here in North Texas. and I saw that in first hand. I was uh, actually fishing in the Am Lake Amon G. Carter. There's a, another part of that lake called the Bowie, Bowie Reservoir. And uh, plenty of huge, huge largemouth bass there that are coming in to feed. That lake also got some water in that last rain. So it might be a unique situation compared to where you are, but definitely don't, don't quit fishing yet because um, that, that fall feed thing is really coming on. Uh, as far as events coming up, uh, next Saturday, this coming Saturday, the 25th of October, there's two things happening fairly close together. There's a fishing tournament down right under I-35 there on the Guadalupe River, apparently. And I've run the information on that and the story over the weekend. So if you, if you didn't read over the weekend and were too busy to uh, actually read the website, I'm starting to uh, post things as they come in on the weekends and everything else. So read that about that tournament. It's really cool setup with only a limit of 20 entries and, and the, the prizes are pretty darn good if you're into that kind of thing. Secondly in the area is a GRTU meeting, Guadalupe River Trout Unlimited, and it's going to be a meeting about their leases, the areas they have leased on the Guadalupe River for uh, trophy trout that they stock there. And of course, GRTU is uh, very active in uh, putting some larger fish for the put and for the take in the Guadalupe River. So that meeting's at uh, Sadler, and so you might want to go check that out next Saturday as well. There's kind of a conflict there between the tournament and that meeting, but I received that notice from the uh, Texas Women's Fly Fishers. That's a great group. These ladies uh, sent out a lot of information, a lot of notifications. So if you're interested in a club and a woman or even a guy, I'm a member, so if you're, if you're even a guy, you might think they're not, <laughs> they have mixed emotions on taking guys, but um, I'm sure that uh, they'll make room for you. So that would be Texas Women Fly Fishers. I think it's a .org, so give that a go. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to finish this really quickly. Uh, there are... Uh, Spanish mackerel on the jetties at uh, Port Aransas, Aransas Pass, and all other kinds of fish. So the salt water is just just blazing right now. It's a great time if you don't have, if you don't have any excuses and you know you don't, you better get to the coast and check out the saltwater fly fishing. No matter what shape or size it comes in, it's time to hit it. Uh, I've got another story, a couple of stories coming out this week that are kind of interesting. One is on the Pecos. I did that story. I went there about a month and a half ago and it's just now getting to the point it's bubbling to the surface and actually getting to the point where I can write it, add the photos and all that. That story will be out um, sometime this week. And then the last thing I'm doing this week is a, uh, it's called 
I think I'm calling it the Nightfly Radio Show, and it's a supplement to the, every year I do a top 10 music countdown, and this is supplementary to that, so I have some CDs that are already in the mix for the top 10, and this is a radio show, 30 minutes worth of listening to, to music in its entirety, um, and that should be out Wednesday, so listen for that. It, Turn it up loud, turn turn the lights down, listen to it late at night, and uh, you'll probably get a good feeling for what I was going through. It's kind of album-oriented radio style from what I grew up with in the late 60s and through the 70s. So that's what's going on here in Texas. Don't have any tips today, so you'll have to make up a tip and send it to me. Don't forget, if you have any questions, comments, compliments, criticism, whatever, fly at texasflycaster.com's email. And you can always call me at 940-380-0408 here in Denton, Texas. Um, and just look, give me an earful of whatever you got going on. I always send photos. I'll be glad to run those on the Instagram that shows up on the website. And if you have an Instagram uh, account, just follow Texas Flycaster on Instagram, and I'll follow you back and run those photos and repost those in my stream. So have a great week. And... Uh, as always, I thank my sponsors at Tailwaters Dallas, Sims, Lampson, Hash, TFO. If I forgot you, I'm sorry, but um, just going off the top of my head. So have a great week, and we'll see you next week.